along with the extension block i will need a longer chain and a longer brake hose lowering links which will help me gain the factory seat height not sure how i'm going to look on screen never been into such type of vlogs oh. anyways guys welcome back to my garage coming straight to the topic it's 24th feb today it has been 3 years since i am in relationship with this thing got it back in 2019 on 22nd feb and there was this one project that i always wanted to do with my bike that is increasing the wheel base basically wheel base is the center distance between the two wheels of course that is done by extending the rear uh, wheel outside the bike so anyway just like all my videos let's start with the things that are needed for this project and a step by step guide for how i'm going to do this entire modification by myself at home front and rear paddock stand some plywoods for supporting the rear tire when i take it off a screw jack dot for brake oil for rear brake basic toolkit a measure tape star of the show extension blocks two of the lowering links one extended brake hose torque wrench extended chain from rk and a chain cutting and riveting tool quite couldn't capture it before i dismantled it but i will just take you through the handlebar bolts needs to be taken off the two screws over here needs to be taken off then allen bolt over here and on the opposite end over here after that the two bolts the luggage bolts over here and here These are all the bolts that are covered. After, uh, apart from that, there are push locks over multiple locations. Four of them over here. Two right over here and here. And the last two will be there and there. Let's see. These are all the mechanical mountings. Apart from that, the electronic sockets for the brake lamp and the so two side indicators are located over here which needs to be disconnected and you will be good to go for removing the tail one eternity later so far i am done with replacing the oem brake hose with a new longer hose that comes all the way from the abs junction till the caliper i haven't really covered the entire process of doing that because 
it was a little bit complicated thing and I had to do certain trial and errors to get this one fixed however I'll be putting a very short video about how do you you know change the entire OEM line from the ABS junction till the frame till the mid frame and then till the caliper with a new single piece ABS line I'll put a separate video on that Now after removing the chain guard, next uh, aim is to remove the chain of the sprocket. So for that, we will be removing the wheel and for removing the wheel, first of all this tension bolt needs to be screwed completely inside. So this check nut over here uh, will unscrew this screw this bolt completely inside same on the other side same thing will be done over here that will allow me uh, to push the wheel inside once I unscrew this axle nut and then we will get the chain on the sprocket and then remove the wheel completely Always remember, this is a very important thing, whenever your brake pads are hanging around without a disc, there is no disc right now between them, make sure that the brake pedal is not pressed even by mistake, because pressing the brake pedal will push the calipers completely against each other and then it will be a hell of a time consuming job to push them apart so what I have done is I put a wedge below my uh, rear brake pedal so this is not going down you can also tie a rope or something on the pedal and then fix it over here, here on the chassis
the tail has been fixed back and yep now the bike has started to look like what i had imagined few things still pending the lowering links deciding how much do i want to extend it outside and that will determine the length of new chain there's one another visual check that can be done which is this proper alignment tool it is basically just a c clamp shaped uh, calibrating device uh, which has got a perfectly straight rod on the top so this tool basically helps out in a visual check whether the plane of this sprocket is in line with the front sprocket or not so right now if you can see the rod is pretty much parallel to the chain so if if this sprocket was not parallel right then this rod over here would have been bending like not aligned with the chain and might be going towards left or right so this shows that alignment is pretty well 